Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would talk about Valentine's Day fragrances since Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Um, I actually am not a huge fan, don't celebrate it. I like to just stay in. My boyfriend and I usually will just cook a meal, watch a movie or something like that. But, you know, on the rare occasion that I go out and do something fancy, I do like to wear a, you know, a special, special perfume for the occasion. So the first two I'm going to talk about are Killian fragrances. The first one is Love. Um, I really like this fragrance, which is funny because when I first smelled it back in maybe 2019 or 2020, I was appalled. It smelled so bad. It made me so nauseous. Um, it was so sickly sweet. I really didn't understand the hype and why everybody loved it so much. Um, so I Got, I had one of those little discovery kits, so I put the little sample back in the box and didn't smell it again um, for a couple of years and then was just curious, took another whiff, and I really, really liked it. So I don't know if it just had a chance to macerate over that time and settle down or if my nose just changed a lot, but I really love this fragrance. Um, I am a big fan of orange blossom in my uh, fragrances and so I really enjoy it in here and then it also has uh, rose it has caramel it has pink pepper it has bergamot so it's I wouldn't say it's a fresh fragrance um, because it is just very sweet it's not exactly gourmand but it does have that marshmallow you know powdered candy vibe to it but I, I really like it and I think it would be a great perfume to wear um, going out to dinner um, even if you're doing a stay at home date it just smells really really nice the second one is rolling in love um, this one I smelled and liked it immediately I'm a big fan of um, white floral fragrances and this has a nice almond note in it and then also tonka bean and vanilla so it's it's soft it's a little bit floral um a little a little lactonic it is but not like in a some lactonic fragrances can make me a little queasy I do like them when they're well done and this one smells really great um this would be something I would wear if maybe I was going out to a really fancy restaurant and I wanted a fragrance that wasn't going to be too loud too bold maybe a little more classy and soft something that myself and my boyfriend were going to be able to smell but not necessarily everybody sitting around me um, this would also be a good perfume for a stay-at-home date. Um, it's it's a nice casual, I think, everyday fragrance. You could definitely wear it every day. Um, but if you wanted something like a little fun and sweet and different for Valentine's Day, I think this would be a good choice. Uh, my next one is going to be Jasmine Rouge uh, by Tom Ford. So I actually had a sample of this for years and loved it. I would just sniff the sample, kind of dab it on, and then finally, well, the sample went bad. So um, I finally got a bottle as a, I want to say it was a Christmas present. Um, and I really, really like this fragrance. Again, I like white florals. You have to like white florals. You have to love jasmine because it is very strong. And this is a fragrance I love to wear. I mean, I, I've worn it year round and it's fine, but I love it on days when there's like a nice breeze because it reminds me of, you know, being outside when there's, you know, jasmine flowers everywhere and the breeze just kind of sends that scent all over. It's really warm, I think, because of the ginger note. Um, I, I don't know if there's any other things contributing to that. Oh, I think there's some amber in it. So it has a warm touch. It's got the jasmine, so it's sweet. I just find it to be a very classy, sophisticated, sexy perfume. This is definitely one I would consider wearing for a Valentine's Day dinner, especially if I was going to be somewhere outside, again, where that breeze could kind of kick it up and send it around. The next fragrance I have here is Sea uh, Fiori. So this has been discontinued, and I know a lot of people are really uh, heartbroken about it. I actually was never that interested in it. I had tried the original C, 
years ago. It smelled good, but I think it was just too strong for me and I couldn't wear it. Um, I tried the Sea Intense when it came out, loved it, bought it, and then have now gone back. I've tried the original Sea. I really like it. So when my travel spray runs out, I might pick up a small bottle. Um, but when I heard this was being discontinued and, you know, then a lot of videos started coming out with it, I thought, well, let me, let me try it out. So I found this bottle, I want to say maybe on Fragrance X or Fragrance Net for a really good price. And just decided to blind buy it and I love it. I understand why everyone likes it so much, why everyone was so sad when it was discontinued. It smells really great. It does have that C DNA, so you do get that black current. Um, and but I will say that it's it's a little bit softer. It's not as thick and syrupy as C or C intense. Um, let's see here. Yeah, definitely softer. There's a little bit of a brightness, a little bit of a freshness, I think because there's a mandarin in the top. Um, it still has that patchouli, you know, in the base. So it, it, it on my skin, it lasts a decent amount of time. It does project decently. And if I overspray it, I, I have choked myself out with this perfume before. Um, and then there's vanilla and white musk. I love musk in fragrances. So this gives me like really soft, fluffy, sweet vibes. Um, almost like a... Yeah, like a berry, like a berry smoothie or a berry milkshake, something like that. It's, it's creamy, sweet, fluffy, light when you don't overspray it. And I really like this. Um, and I tried it on once um, and had my boyfriend smell it and his eyebrow shot up. He thought it was really great. So this is another one I would recommend for, you know, Valentine's Day for a date, or if you're going to be hanging out with your girls, going to brunch, something like that. It's just a really great everyday scent, but it does have that nice kind of sweet Valentine's Day vibe. The next fragrance I would recommend is Dior Poison Girl. This is one of my favorites in my collection. Um, again, it has that orange blossom note, which I like, which gives it this thick kind of dense scent to it. Um, it has that bitter orange in the top and I can really smell that when I first spray it. That and I also get the almond in the top even though it's one of the base notes. Um, and then after it's been on my skin for a few minutes the orange kind of settles down a little bit and it becomes this soft powdery sweet kind of creamy. I mean there's still a little bit of that maybe that citrus note, maybe just a little bit left over. I really love it and it's a little bit woody too. I think there's um, sandalwood, cashmere in, in the base. I really love this one and I was told when I was wearing this that I smelled like a mysterious secret. So I took that as a good sign. The next one I would wear on a date is Valentino Donna Born in Roma. I love this. It's almost out. I already have a big bottle backup. Um, I love that juicy opening. Um, it's sweet, it's bright, but it's also bold. It projects on my skin, it lasts all day. Um, I love the jasmine notes in the mid and the base is really great. I find this to be a great everyday scent. I think it's a good signature scent. I don't think you have to just wear it for nights out or fancy occasions. I, I wear it just around the house um, or if I'm going out to run errands just whenever I'm in the mood for it. But it is a really great date night um, scent and it would be good for Valentine's Day, especially if you're going out like on a fun date and you kind of want your fragrance to be bold and to be noticed by people, wear some of this and I think you'll probably get at least one compliment. Okay, the next fragrance I have is uh, Parfums de Marley Delina Exclusive. And I think any of the Delinas would work for Valentine's Day. Um, I don't have the original, I have a small sample 
Um, it wasn't my favorite when I first smelled it. I am now actually really liking it more and I'm kind of contemplating if I should add a bottle to my collection. Um, depending on the climate you're in, La Rosé would be great. Um, I, I have worn it in the winter time, but I definitely enjoy it more when it's hot outside. So if you're somewhere where it's going to be warmer and you want a lighter, flirtier um, version of Delina, I would go with the La Rosé. But for Valentine's Day date night, I want something that's a little deeper, a little sweeter, a little more sultry. Um, this is the one I would go with. Uh, it has... It does have a powdery vibe to it, which I really like. It doesn't smell like baby powder, but it does have that kind of soft uh, powdered sugar dusted vibe to it. Um, it just, it smells really great. Uh, this is one that I wear around the house a lot, actually. I don't feel the need to have a special occasion to wear this one whenever I just want to smell amazing. This is one that I, I reach for. But if I was going out again to a really nice... Um, fancy dinner or event or something for Valentine's Day and I did want my fragrance to be a little bold definitely be noticed project get people's attention this is one I would I would wear this is another one you do not need to overspray it I spray like one or two on my neck maybe one on each wrist and that's it it is strong and it lasts a really long time and you will suffocate yourself if you go overboard and then my last one, well, I have a couple honorable mentions here, but my last one is, I'm sure this is going to be on everybody's list, uh, MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. I really love this fragrance. Um, I remember like watching all the videos and everybody was talking about it and I was thinking it cannot possibly be that good. And the way they would describe it with the burnt sugar, I'm like, how does that smell good? Um, and while I won't say it smells like burnt sugar, to me, I it does smell like lightly toasted sugar. Um, but then I also get the, I think it's fur like um like fur resin in there so the first time I wore this was uh maybe last winter and I felt like I smelled like Christmas time um it's woody I get a lot of the woody notes on my skin I do get the um the saffron and it just it smells really great and it's a nice year-round scent I wear this all seasons any time of day, if I'm going out, if I'm staying in, whenever I just want to smell fantastic, this is one I reach for. So that means I think it would be perfect for Valentine's Day. This is, um, I don't think it's as loud or projects as much as I've heard other people say. So I don't know if maybe for my nose, because um, sometimes I do go a little nose blind to it. I can still usually smell it if I put my wrist up to my nose. Um, but if I'm outside, and I, I do get wafts of it continuously. So I think if I'm just, it's just me by myself with this perfume, it overpowers me. Um, so this is one I would say don't, you don't need to overspray, um, but you will most likely, if it smells good on your skin, get compliments every time I've worn this out and I've been around people, someone has mentioned how good I smell. I, I love this one, it's, it's fantastic. Okay, so I don't have a full bottle of this. I got a decant from Scentbox, and this is, I think it's Fragrance, Fragrance Dubois. Yes, I think that's it, Minuit et Demi. Um, this is Demi Rawlings fragrance. And I was really curious about it after you know it, it was released, but getting a sample of it was kind of difficult. Um, and then when I heard reviews and people were talking about their performance, I was like, Ugh, I don't want to spend a lot of money on something that is a skin scent. I don't mind skin scents, but I also won't spend a lot of money on a skin scent. Um, but I had the subscription box and this popped up on it. So I thought I would, you know, why not throw it in and get it? And it does smell fantastic. Like the the scent, I would give a 10 out of 10. I really love it. Um the there's so many notes in here so it, it's both complex but then you know smells very uh, like crowd pleasing and not simple I don't know what the right word is but it, it just it smells really good um I 
love the coffee note. I get that in here. Um, I get the vanilla. I don't know that I pick up the tobacco and cinnamon, but I think that's because this fragrance really is just so well blended. So when I spray it on my skin, um, again, it doesn't project. Uh, this is not something I would wear out. So if I was going out and I wanted my fragrance to be noticed, this is not what I would pick. But if, you know, my boyfriend and I decide to do a stay at home date, you know, we're having dinner, we're on the sofa, we're watching movies and we're going to be right next to each other. This is a good one because it's not going to overpower him. It's not going to overpower me. It's not that strong, but it does smell really good. It smells very intoxicating. I get a lot of that kind of like caramel and the coffee and then the cashmere in, um, in the base and it just it just smells fantastic it's really addictive and even though I said I wouldn't spend a lot of money on something that's basically a skin scent with not great projection I am thinking about it because it's really 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 good and then I have to give an honorable mention to Parfums de Marley Oriana. Um, this does have similar vibes to the Killian Love Don't Be Shy, right? They have, um, I think they both have orange blossom in there. Yeah, both have orange blossom. Uh, this has a really bright, fruity opening, which I actually thought it would make me love it. It has mandarin, it has, um, bergamot and grapefruit. I love grapefruit in fragrances. I love citrus. Um, so I thought, oh, that's fantastic. And then it has orange blossom and black currant and I think raspberry in the mid. I love black currant. It's one of my favorites. Um, and the whipped cream, the marshmallow and the musk in the base. I thought all these notes, this is going to be fantastic. And it does smell great. It really does. I understand why people love it so much. Um, but I just don't like it as much as I like um, the Killian fragrance. I think the Killian fragrance is just a little bit deeper, um, a little richer. It's a little more sultry in my opinion. Uh, this one is lighter, more playful. I'll have to give it some more wear when it warms up because I got this sample I want to say a, a couple of months ago. So I've only really tried it in cold weather. So maybe I have to give it a chance in the heat and see if it warms up and, you know, does a little more on my skin. Uh, but I will say when I put this on, my boyfriend said that this was his favorite fragrance of mine that he had ever smelled. And he's smelled a lot because I have a decent amount. Um, and... Whenever I do spritz this on when he's around, because I usually wear it when he's around because he likes it so much, he knows immediately what it is. Um, so I'm tempted to get maybe the small 30 ml bottle, um, but I'll have to see. Once I get through this, I'll see how I'm feeling. Um, but if I was reaching for this scent profile, I I tend to reach for the the love over Oriana. But I thought I would put it in, put it in here because it would be a really great um, Valentine's Day scent. It is sweet and pretty and girly and and romantic and I think um you would get compliments wearing it as well okay so here are the fragrances that I would recommend um for Valentine's Day for your for your date for stay at home if you're going to be by yourself and you just want to smell good for yourself I do that every day um let me know what you are planning on wearing for Valentine's Day or if you have any recommendations or things you think I would like. Um, I actually just got an order from Twisted Lily in with some samples that I'm going to be trying out over the course of the week. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.